Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the February 2015 Grade 3-4 Contest, Question 6, which also came up in the Grade 5-6 and 7-A Contest. So the question is, Maria has been given a new computer game. The computer joins, without overlapping, pieces of the figures above to reveal various constructions. One of the forms below cannot be obtained. Which one is it? Alright. Now, let's start off by looking at option A, which is this shape right here. Alright, now what stands out is we have an outer edge and an inner edge. Now, let's first look at this outer edge. We can see that for this shape here, wherever it may end, we can see that there is an inner edge and it must have a straight line end. And the only shape that has that would be this shape right here, which has the inner edge and the straight line end. So that would be like this. And then, if we would have that, then we would know the outlining of this shape down here would be this. Which we can just see is the first shape. Therefore, we know that this form can be obtained by using the first and second shapes. Alright, now let's look at option B. Now, option B is just a long rectangle. Alright, now, we know that the two ends of a rectangle, of course, have straight lines. Here and here. Now, looking at our four shapes, well, only two out of these four shapes even have a straight line end and that is this shape right here because of this straight line end and this shape right here because of that straight line end right there. Therefore we know that this shape must be at one of the two ends and this shape must be at one of the ends. Alright, now let's put this shape first. Let's, we will put it going this way. So therefore we know that since it has the outer edge, it will look something like this. Therefore we would need some shape with an inner edge to go beside it. And since we cannot use this shape because this shape will be at the end, we know it must, we must use this shape next because this shape does not have an inner edge. Alright, now we would put this shape beside this shape and that would also have an inner edge there. Therefore, we would need to have a shape beside that which would have an outer edge. And since these are the only two shapes left and we can't use this one yet because that is at the end, we would put this shape beside. So therefore, that would fit in there and that would have an outer edge. And therefore, the last shape would have to have an inner edge and also a straight line edge, straight line end, which is exactly this shape right here. So we would put this beside that and that would make this rectangle. So therefore we know that this rectangle can be obtained using these four shapes. Alright, now let's look at option C. Alright, now again what we notice is this outer, this outer edge with this straight line end. And the only shape that has that is this shape right here with the outer edge and the straight line end and that would be put right there. So therefore we would know that that would be the outline and therefore this shape would just have the inner edge and the straight line end which is this shape right here, the inner edge and the straight line end. So therefore we know that this shape can be obtained by again using the first and the second shapes. All right. Now let's look at option D. Now we can just see that it is all four shapes which are being used because the first shape is just this shape. We can see easy the straight line end and the outer edge. So that would be this right here and then we would know that the second shape would have the straight line end and the inner edge which is just the next shape. And then the third so that would be outlining here and then the third shape would just be the round one which is with the two outer edges which is just this one up here and then finally the last one which would outline here that would have that has the two inner edges which is just the last 
shape of the two inner edges. And now this is also very easy to see because the shapes just go in order as you can see them from the top. All right, now we know that that option D can, this shape, can, this form can also be obtained using these four shapes. All right, now let's look at the last option, option E. Okay, now we can see that this shape here, wherever that outlines, that already has the two outer edges, and that must be this shape right here, and therefore that would outline right there. And then, now we can see that this shape here, this shape right here, has an inner edge, but also an outer edge. And now if we look at the shapes, none of these shapes have an inner edge and also an outer edge. And also looking at the shape, the only two shapes that can be combined to form this shape would be these two shapes because when you put this into here we have an outer edge and an inner edge but we know that can't work because first of all we already use this shape right here and second of all if we were to combine those two shapes then it would be a lot longer of a shape so therefore this form option E cannot be obtained if you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at krutest.com.